guys, it's November 5th, and then we are on our first sit. Rained all morning, now it's sunny and a little little windy. Wind's dying down, this should be good. Last hour, shooting a Matthews VXR this year with a Rage Extreme Chisel Dip. Deadly combination, hopefully we can put it to work this week. Stay tuned. All right guys, that's hunt number one. Honestly, I don't know what to think. I keep replaying it in my head. He's 10 point, decently wide. Had a kicker off his 1G2. I don't even know if we have pictures of that deer. Cause I'm sitting on kind of the edge, the property he came from away from us. And I, I don't know, I think I'm gonna regret that. I cannot wait to see what Dad and Regs think. There's a couple other mature bucks in the area, so 
Everything seems to be the hot spot for him. Hopefully it is tonight as well. And yeah, I'm just getting in here plenty early. Just want to make sure we don't spook anything getting in. All right, guys, it's around noon. Sorry for the wind. It's around noon here on Wednesday, November 9th. And it literally feels like spring turkey season out here right now. Um, it's 75 degrees. So we hunted the morning. I hunted until about 11.30, came in, ate some lunch, shoot my bow now. And then I'm gonna be going back to our spot here in the redneck overlooking some corn. Um, I'm thinking this buck that I'm calling Lucky is living right in here. His name is Lucky because I was stupid. Um, you already know all about him. But he's got our number now. So I'm shooting at 55 here. And hopefully that 40 yard shot will be nice and easy. Alright guys, it's 119. I've been sitting at the past couple of evenings um, overlooking cut corn going after a buck we call Lucky. I saw Lucky the first night I was hunting and passed him mistakenly. Had him at 30 yards broadside, didn't shoot. And I should have shot. He's a very mature deer. We just didn't know who he was and I held off. I saw him last night. Had him coming in. He's at 42 yards quarter right at me. No shot, then he chased off another buck. It is now Wednesday, it's 75 degrees. Literally feels like spring out here. We got a south wind. Every time he's come in the field, it's been a south wind. And I'm literally sitting here in my base layers. I've had pretty good activity on this field, so. Hopefully tonight, Bruce, same thing. Stay tuned.
Mẹ the footage. I think I didn't want to lie. I'm up and I got lungs. I'm shooting a 2.3 inch chisel tip. <sighs> I rewatched the footage. It looks like he almost ducked my arrow a little bit. It looks like it was tracking, tracking good. And then he ducked about two inches. I didn't, sp I didn't get spine, obviously. He didn't drop. I think my arrow might have went in. It, it, I don't know. I'm gonna wait a little bit here. I'm gonna go out and look for blood, see what blood looks like. And get back to you. I really don't even know where to begin with this deer. This is um, a deer we had trail cam pictures of and really wasn't on our radar. I saw him the first night and I also saw him with that 10 point that I've been hunting. And we were, Dad, Reagan and I were all like, good grief, this is a mature deer. Last night it was, 4:15 November 9th. This guy came strolling in on a doe. Just absolutely read the script. Came in to 24 yards. I ranged him at 24, and I shot him. And he ducked about six inches, I'd say. And him a little higher than I thought. Did not have any blood. The first probably 75 yards. No blood. My arrow only had about five inches of penetration on it. Tracked a little bit at night. We waited about four hours and started tracking him and just did not like what we were seeing. Eventually lost blood and figured we'd come back in the morning and I gotta give a huge shout out to Hunter Fink. Hunter's been on a lot of track jobs and he certainly helped me on this one. I don't know if I would have found this deer without him. We uh, started looking for more blood, couldn't find any at our last initial spot, so we just started grid searching and then out of nowhere he found a huge puddle of blood, which was really promising. We found bubbles in it, and as you can see here, the Rage 2.3 chisel tip put a number on him. It, it made a huge hole. I, I'm really confused why it didn't bleed so much, but thinking we hit one lung, might have hit offside shoulder. But just a very mature deer. I gotta give a huge shout out to Hunter because my day would be a lot longer of a day if I didn't have him. I think it probably took us an hour. Started tracking at seven o'clock this morning and it's 9.30 here on November 10th. Just an awesome deer. Thank you for watching guys.